This is code.org. Let's see what we're working on. Read the program, predict how it will run. Then run and discuss with your partner. I don't have a partner, so guess what? It's you. Hi, partner. Uh, discuss. On what lines is the update screen function being declared? So when is it made? All right, let me run this, though. Let's count. Um, okay. Boom, boom. Oh, nothing happens. Nothing happens. Nothing, 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 nothing. Okay, well, that was fun. That was a fun way to run. On what lines are update screen function being declared? All right, so when do we make the update screen function? Keep in mind, when we make it, it has to have like the mouth thing, right? When we make a function, it looks well like this. If I were asking it to run, that is when I would just have the name of it like this. That's asking it to run right here. But making it is declaring it. it update screen is declared right there. Okay. On what lines being called? Well, what I just showed you is how you call a function. That's when you call out its name, right? This would be calling out its name. So let's look. Is it down here? Nope. We're looking for update. Oh. There's one update screen, right? There's no big mouth thing. It's just using the name to make it work. How does the update screen function make the program easier to write and understand? Well, look at update screen. If I just see this, whoa, that's a lot of stuff, right? I have to think about well, what is going on here? What's it doing? But if you put it in a, I call it a box sometimes. If you put it in a function, if you put it in a box and you give it a name, hey guys, this box is the update screen stuff. Oh, I get it. It's adding, it's updating the display. It's maybe updating the count, all of that stuff. Update screen. So it makes it easy to understand what's going on with this in a function. It then makes it easier to understand wherever it is called, right? So on event down button, update screen. Oh, I know what that's doing. You're taking away one, you're updating the screen. On event up button, oh, update screen. I know what that's doing. You're adding one and then you're updating the screen. As opposed to having this whole big chunk of code here and here each time. One, you'd be repeating, repeating yourself. Two, it's harder to read. Change the program to make the game end when the score is greater is 15 or greater. So the game needs to end. Okay. Change the program to make the game end when the score is less than negative 10. Okay. Is my score updating? Oh, okay. So it count is greater than or equal to 10, or it's less than negative five set screen. Oh, okay. One, two, three, four, five. Hmm. Oh, there we go. We got movement. I had to hit it a bunch. And, okay. So what is it doing? Why is it? Count equals count plus one. Oh, it's slow. That's why. Got it. I have to. I forget because it's showing us how it rhymes. Got it. So don't forget, we can adjust the speed to see it go faster. It was going slow to show us how it was running. Okay. So we need it. So what did it say? Change the program to make game end when the score is greater than 15. All right. Game over when the score is right now. It's when it's greater than or equal to 10. We need that to be greater than or equal to 15, they say. Change the program to make the game end when the score is negative 10 or less. Okay, so instead of negative 5, negative 10. Change the program to make it display the word clicks after the count as you play the game. For example, 5 clicks, 10 clicks. All right, so that's going to be update screen. Well, what's this thing called? Counter display. So where do we update counter display? Oh, right there. Now, right now, it's just putting the number count. We need to add clicks to that. So remember when we did concatenation of strings, when we jam screen, two strings together, or we can jam them together with words. So I'm going to put a plus here, and then in quotes, because this is not a number, I'm going to do space and the word clicks and count. You could also drag out a plus to do that. So we're going to grab that count variable, whatever number it is equal to. We're adding to that this, in quotes, because it's a string, space clicks. Let's see if it works. Boom, 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 boom. Da, 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 da. <laughs> awesome. We did it. Tricky, tricky, especially with the speed thing. Speed's super helpful, but you always got to be mindful of it. Awesome. Onward.